Welcome back. It is Monday, October 30th in the NBA. My three favorite picks are on the way. It's Austin joined today by a special guest. Bring it out. The Brooms are here once again. It has been a ridiculous run. 3-0 yesterday on a 13-0 run. We've hit our last 13 NBA picks. It's been a ridiculous run. Let's do a little bit of a victory lap, then dive into today's plays. Trey Young, 20-plus points, and Giannis, 25-plus an absolute sweat. Trey, I don't know how you got it done, but we appreciate you. Al Prune Sangoon, talk about a real sweat. Over 30 and a half PRAs in with 31 on the dot on a garbage time layup. I'll talk about him in a second. And then LeBron, 20 plus points, six reps, and Fox, 20 plus points. Pretty sweat free. You end up going to overtime, but I don't think we really needed it. We'll take that. A 3 0 day, hit our last 13 straight picks. Now, as I talk about Sangoon, Hard to recap that one because I know it did go up to 31 and a half and he landed right on 31. As a reminder, I do have the Dub Club. It's our Discord. It's only $5.99 a month. If you want to sign up, that's where I post the picks about 90 minutes before these videos go live. I normally post them around 7.30 a.m. to 8 a.m. Eastern time. Today's a little bit different because I got in at 2 a.m. last night. But if you want to sign up just to see it, to believe it, I promise you the lines are going to move almost every single day and they do move. So if you want to take advantage, I'll give you a seven-day free trial. Just go down below, click the top link. You get $5.99 a month for the full month. But I think it will pay for itself in juice a I'm not, I, I know it's $5.99 a month. Some people don't like paying that, and I understand. So you can still watch the daily YouTube videos. You'll still get all the same picks, but it does pay for itself. Just like Singoon, the line will go up. And we're going to have some wins this year where it's going to land on the hook where I give out the pick, it hits, goes up one, and it doesn't hit. That's going to happen plenty of times. So just try to avoid that. Join the Dub Club, $5.99 a month. Go check out, check out the second channel, the Wemben Yama debut video, all the details down below. Also have a bunch of different deposit match bonuses down below for all daily fantasy apps. You can check those out. But let's dive into the picks. The reason you're here, the first one, we're going to go to a guy that you probably know, a guy by the name of Shea Gildress Alexander, over 28 and a half points, minus 120 on DraftKings. Now, I have his name abbreviated to SGA on the screen because... I don't have that many characters to fit, but SGA, Shea Gilders Alexander, we're rolling with him to get 29 points, and honestly, I do think he gets 30 if he does get that, but let's talk about why we're rolling with him, because he's coming off a stinker, an absolute stinker. Let's talk about it. SGA so far this season, he scored 31, 34, seven points. Yeah, the seven points was a stinker. He shot 12 for 18, tw uh, 15 for 26, and then two for 16 from the field against the Denver Nuggets. An absolute disaster in that game. They lost by 33. They got smoked. Today gets the Pistons, a team that I don't think is great defensively, also a team that plays pretty fast. So I think at the end of the day, we just saw Detroit last game they played. They let Zach Levine drop a 51 piece on him. So I think this is a good, great matchup for SGA to bounce back. We saw last year, SGA averaged 31.9 points per game at home. Dude, the guy sucked on the road. Only 31 points per game. We got to be better than that SGA, but he's back at home today. And in his last 25 games, he scored 29 plus hitting this over in 19 of his last 25. And he never went back to back games without going over this line. So he, he rarely had back to back stinkers. And I think that two for 16 night was just an anomaly. This is a guy that can get to his spots, knock down his shots. Also, he's a free throw merchant. The guy just gets to the free throw line a lot and shoots a very high percentage there. Last year, SGA, nine games, only nine. You think about all the games he played, only nine games last season where he shot below 40%, only two below 30%, which is obviously what he just did and the game after a bad shooting performance notoriously he was bouncing back he scored 30 32 33 only 23 in one game but 33 42 30 and 29 points getting over this line almost every single game you'll see only eight scores are listed there that's because the last game of the season last year he did not shoot about 40 percent but i love him i think he's a great player he's really really good if you've never watched him play enjoy it the man can sometimes be a ball hog but he's been doing a really good job facilitating so i don't mind his points plus assist line but i think points is where he's gonna have to get the majority of it so i'll take shea gilders alexander over 28 and a half points minus 120 on DraftKings. the first pick of the day the second pick we got hunting for a little bit of value and includes this guy on my shirt Nikolai Jokic to record a triple double plus 210 on bet 365 now there will not be many occurrences this season where I give out a triple double prop because let's be honest kind of hard to get those but when I look at these props for, uh, for Nikolai Jokic obviously I'm pretty confident he scores 10 points his line's like 26 and a half now for the rebounds I think he gets 10 rebounds which we'll touch on in a second the real lean I was looking at here and the real pivot I would give to you guys is either the over and rebounds plus assists or the over and assist however the over and assist was going to be my play it was minus 130 on one book it was like minus 150 on every other book and I don't hey look if you want a guy that's going to give out minus 150 odds just to try to improve his record he came to the wrong place we're trying to make money here and that's what we're trying to do with this one at plus 210. I think it's worth the extra value to go up for one more assist than taking an over eight and a half assist that's laying a ton of juice on theirs because I'm pretty confident Jokic, if he gets the nine assists, which to, he needs to hit the over eight and a half, hopefully he gets another 10. But let's talk about him because the triple double, if you've never heard of a triple double, maybe you're an NBA novice, he needs 10 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. If he gets 10 steals or 10 blocks, 
I will record tomorrow shirtless because that ain't happening. But let's talk about Jokic. 20 plus points, aka getting 10 or more all three games this season. Also, 12 plus rebounds in all three as well. So he's getting the points and rebounds is what we need. It's the assist that I think is what it's going to come down to. And he's had 11, 7, and 5 this season. Now, the 11 is great. The 7 and 5, you're like, Austin, whoa, why are we backing him? He has only had a triple double in one of three games. Yeah, I know. It's, it's crazy that we're at, have a triple double at plus 210. But Jokic started the season 11 assists at home versus the Lakers. The Nuggets then went on the road where Jokic, seven assists on nine nine turnovers against Memphis and only five assists on four turnovers in that blowout win versus OKC. We just talked about that. That was the game SGA shot two for 16. Now he returns back home against the Utah Jazz. And we talked about last season. We will talk about it more this season. Jokic just tends to average more rebounds and especially more assists per game at home. This se last year, he averaged 13.1 rebounds per game. Love that. And 11.1 assists per game at home. He was averaging a triple double at home and the assists weren't even really close. I think he only averaged about nine assists on the road. Jokic, nine assists and 24 of his last 25 games at home, 10 plus in 21 of his last 25, and he has a triple double in 19 of his last 25 home games. There was two games in there where he did not get the rebounds. And if he doesn't get the rebounds, say whatever, I'll chalk it up to the game. But I still do think this is a great spot to back him. I think the odds should be closer to plus 160. In his last home game versus Utah, he had 12 rebounds and 14 assists, absolutely smoking this line. He also scored 31 points, so they couldn't stop him in any facet of the game. This is a great spot, I think, to back him. There's also a Utah Jazz team that does limit the points in the paint in terms of, you know, centers. I think they're going to try their best to stop Jokic with Walker Kessler, maybe double teaming him. I think the guys are going to cut. We know Jokic, how talented he is. I think this is a great spot to back him here. So we'll take Jokic, get a triple double. I know it's plus 210, but if we could hit that, man, that would be a really good hit and really good two units back to the bankroll. I really do like Jokic to get a triple double. I know it's plus 210. I probably played to right around plus 160. Honestly, you should be able to get plus 180 on almost every single book. Jokic, we're counting on you, man. Treat us right. My third and final pick of the day will be a same game parlay. We've done really well on these. I might honestly update the, the record at the beginning of the video that include our SGP record and keep props separate. But let's talk about this one. It's Anthony Edwards, 25 plus points in the Minnesota Timberwolves. And Trey Young, back for more, 20 plus points, currently plus 130 on Fando. The next best odds are plus 120 I saw on DraftKings and Bet365 to say two leg, same game parlay. The easiest pivot if you're on the prize picks, daily fantasies, you know, all those daily fantasy apps, which we do have deposit matches available to you guys all down below but the easiest one is just anthony edwards over in points because his regular line is pretty close to 25 i think it's 25 and a half or 26 and a half but i think there's value in taking this at plus 130 let's talk about trey young though first clutched up for us yesterday we need him to do it again this season 23 18 and 20 points despite shooting 21 percent 25 percent and 35 percent from the field has not been a great start to the season but he shot a little bit better last night let's see if he can shoot a little bit better here and this is a great spot 20 plus points in nine straight versus minnesota including 41 and 29 versus them last year now trey yeah, he made a sweat yesterday. It was a blowout. Probably would have easily hit the over. You know, it wouldn't end it on 20 if he didn't have, you know, didn't get benched the last you know, six, seven minutes. But I do like him in this spot against Mike Conley, who might defend him. I really do think he'll get that mid-range and floater going. We know Rudy Gobert plays a ton of drop coverage. So Trey should get some open looks from three. But I also think he can drive and get those floaters, those mid-ranges, those shots that I'd rather honestly him take than trying to chuck a 30-footer up. But Trey Young, we, I think he gets us 20 points. Now, the main leg to this parlay does rely on Anthony Edwards. We need 25 from him, which is pretty close to his regular line but we've seen ant-man so far this season scored 26 points on 27 shots and 19 points only 15 shots and he honestly had to face two of the toughest defenses in the nba with the raptors followed up by the heat i mean talk about two tough defenses to defenses to go up against and now he gets a much easier matchup against the atlanta hawks a team that does play pretty fast. I think Anthony Edwards will have some space in transition to attack. And I honestly think he could easily get 25 points. Also, a little bit of a narrative, a little bit of a motivational game. He probably has a bunch of friends and family in this in the stands tonight as Edwards is from Atlanta, Georgia, where this game is being played. His last two games at Atlanta, he obviously doesn't play there a ton. He scored 32 points on 25 shots and only 20 points on 16 field goal attempts. It's worth noting in that 20 points game, he was ejected with five or five or six minutes left in the third quarter. I would know this because I was on his over that game. It was like 21 and a half or 22 and a half. I was like, heck yeah, an easy winner. And then the referees called two garbage technical fouls on him and he was sent to the locker room. A terrible game, but 25 from Ant, 20 from Trey. I think this is a surefire winner. Plus 130. I think it's great value here. I think this is a good spot to back both these two guys. I like Trey to get those 20. I like, honestly, Anthony Edwards hit his regular over in points, but I think this is a good way to play it. Plus 130, try to win back 1.3 units. But as always, those are my three favorite picks of the day. Let's try to continue this hot streak. Try to go to 16-0, and 0, which would be absolutely ridiculous given we have a plus 130 and a plus 210 today. But let's continue to make you guys some money. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the videos. I, I love all the love and support. A reminder, keep building up that bankroll. No need to force a ton of picks. But 
I do have a, a side note for the people that are, you know, nine minutes and something amount of video. We might have the return of the ladder challenge today. Stay tuned for that. Still trying to cook that up and see uh, what sort of hype video we can put out for it. But that probably might be later on later today. We'll see how I'm feeling. I still got a bunch of other things to do today. But those are my three favorite picks. Let's go 3-0. Let's have a day. Let's continue this hot streak. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.